Hello viewers, welcome to Ask Me in Tutorial. In this video, we are going to take a look at find method. In all the previous tutorial, we did use the find method in order to retrieve the documents. So the basic functionality of find method is to go ahead and retrieve the documents from a collection. So find method actually takes two parameters. The first is query parameter and the second is projection parameter. Query parameter specify what are the documents that we need to retrieve. It's nothing but a filter criteria. The projection parameter says that what are the fields that I have to retrieve. So let's say I have some hundred fields in my document. I do not need all the fields. I just need only two or three fields. So I can go ahead and include only those fields which I have to display. So now let's go ahead and see in action how exactly this works. So I already have created a collection called as animal. So when I just hit find method without passing any parameters to it, it will go ahead and retrieve all the documents in my collection. You can see that there are totally eight documents and it is listing all the documents. Now let's say I have to give a filter parameter. I say that I just need one document where ID equals to one. In order to do that, I have to specify a query parameter. So I'll pass an object to it. Inside the object, I'll have ID equals to one. Now this is a filter condition for me. The colon symbol here says that it's an equality operator. This says that go ahead and retrieve the document where ID equals to one. When I hit enter, only the document with ID one will be retrieved. Now let's say I just need name of an animal. I do not need ID as well as age of an animal. So how do I do that? I have to give a projection parameter here. In order to give a projection parameter, press comma and then you have to go ahead and specify what are the columns that you have to include. I do not need an ID, so I'll make it as false. I do need a name, so I'll make it as true. When I hit enter, it only displays name as lion. So now let's say I need both name as well as age. So in order to do, do that, I have to pass age equals to true. Now this will go ahead and retrieve both name as well as age fields. The query parameter is actually optional. If I do pass an empty object, it will go ahead and retrieve all the documents in the collection and it will also list all the fields which I have included. So instead of including, we can also exclude a field in MongoDB. Now let's say I want to exclude an age field. So all I have to do is I can remove everything and then I can just say age as false. Now apart from age, all the other fields will be retrieved. Let's say I do not need a name, I just need an IDs. I can go ahead and specify name as false. So it will go ahead and exclude the name field also. But I cannot give a combination of include as well as exclude. MongoDB will throw an error for me. Now let's say if I go ahead and specify get me name but I do not need an age. It says projection cannot have a mix of inclusion and exclusion. Either you go ahead and specify what are the fields you actually want to include or specify what are the fields that you have to exclude. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Do subscribe for this channel for more videos. Thank you. Have a good day.